In this video, we will introduce you to common techniques used to exploit weaknesses in wireless network security implementations. We will also look at some of the countermeasures you can put in place to protect against such attacks. Hey guys, it's John here from Hacker Joe Channel. Welcome to Hacker Joe Channel. We show you technology like hacking skill, how to hack, how to be hacker, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. If you're trying to use the internet but you've got no data, then you'll need to connect to a wireless network. However, not everyone has access to Wi-Fi at their home or when they're out in public. One way that you can get access to a Wi-Fi router is by hacking into it and getting its password. Doing this you can gain access to the internet, but you have to know how to do it properly. But how exactly do you do this? Well, let's look at how it can be done. First start with how to hack Wi-Fi you've already signed into. If you've logged into your wireless router in the past, this will make it easier to hack into the network again. This is because you can easily view the Wi-Fi password using the command function. The first thing you have to do is get the Wi-Fi password from the previous connection. This makes it easy to log into Wi-Fi by simply entering your router's name or SSID. If you're on a Windows, then you'll want to go ahead and open Terminal. You can do this via the Finder. Then, all you'll want to do is enter this into Terminal. Match WLAN show profile name equals Wi-Fi name key equals clear. As you've probably guessed, you can also down this on a Mac device too. You do need to enter something slightly different, however. Type this on terminal. Security find generic password, W your Wi-Fi name. Now let's look, how to hack WIFI you've never signed into before. Hacking a wireless router, you didn't have access to before is much more difficult but not impossible. There are several ways to do this. Most people will try to hack into a Wi-Fi network. Generally, we only use the word crack to mean breaking or breaking wireless network security. Now let's start with WPA cracking. WPA uses a 256 pre-shared key or passphrase for authentications. Short passphrases are vulnerable to dictionary attacks and other attacks that can be used to crack passwords. The following Wi-Fi hacker online tools can be used to crack WPA keys. All of those tool download link you can get on description. The first tool for hacking is Kane Enable. This Wi-Fi hacker for PC tool can be used to decode capture files from other sniffing programs such as Wireshark. The capture files may contain WEP or WP of PSK encoded frames. The second tool for hacking is Cowpatty. This Wi-Fi password cracker tool is used to crack pre-shared keys using brute force attack. Now let's look WP of weaknesses. Pre-shares keys use passphrases. Weak passphrases are vulnerable to dictionary attacks. The collision avoidance implementation can be broken. It is vulnerable to denial of service attacks. Now let's look, WPE cracking. Cracking is the process of exploiting vulnerabilities in wireless networks and gaining unauthorized access. WEP cracking refers to an attack on a network that uses WEP to implement security controls. There are basically two types of cracks, namely. The first is active cracking. This type of attack has an increased load effect on the network traffic. It is easy to detect compared to passive cracking. It is more effective compared to passive cracking. The second is passive cracking. This type of cracking has no effect on the network traffic until the WEP security has been cracked. It is difficult to detect. Now let's look WEP cracking tools. The first tool is AirCrack. AirCrack NG is a complete suite of tools to assess Wi-Fi network security. All tools are command line which allows for heavy scripting. 
a lot of GUIs have taken advantage of this feature. It works primarily on Linux but also Windows, Mocos, FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, as well as Solaris and even Ecom Station 2. Aircrack is already installed in Kali. To start just type Aircrack and G help. The next tool is WEP Crack. This is an open source Wi-Fi hacker program for breaking 802.11 WEP secret keys. This Wi-Fi hacker app for PC is an implementation of the FMS attack. The next tool is Kismet. This Wi-Fi password hacker online detects wireless networks both visible and hidden, sniffer packets and detect intrusions. The next tool is Web Decrypt. This Wi-Fi password hack tool uses active dictionary attacks to crack the WEP keys. It has its own key generator and implements packet filters for hacking Wi-Fi password. Now let's look how to secure wireless networks. In minimizing wireless network attacks, an organization can adopt the following policies. Changing default passwords that come with the hardware. Enabling the authentication mechanism. Access to the network can be restricted by allowing only registered MAC addresses. Use of strong WEP and WPAPSK keys. A combination of symbols, number and characters reduce the chance of the keys been cracking using dictionary and brute force attacks. All in all, it isn't easy to hack into the majority of Wi-Fi networks. Whilst it is possible, of course you should only have the utmost intentions for hacking into a Wi-Fi connection. If you get caught hacking into Wi-Fi that isn't yours, then you could end up in trouble. A WEP security setup is the least secure, and should generally be much easier for you to access than a WPA setup. Though if you download the correct software, you should be able to hack into a variety of different wireless networks. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions let me know by the comments section. I will happy to reply to you. And in case you are first time here check some other videos.